what I'm discussing here is the correct setup of the components on the neck of a CRT, in this case a roundy color CRT. Uh, one of the first things you want to start off with is making sure that the CRT is oriented right in the set. And what you're looking for here is there's a little molded in spot in the glass right here, at the top of the CRT, that should correlate to this little hole in this mounting band. This will make sure that when you mount it, all these riveted in mounts will end up putting the CRT straight up and down. This is also, you'll see a molded spot. That's the very top of the CRT. So you want to get that oriented straight up and down. And when that's oriented properly, this blue convergence coil will be at the very top. So all that relates straight down to the top of the CRT. You want to get that in place right first. The yoke uh, should just be, you want to make sure that it's correct for having the centered this way properly. And you'll do that once you're doing your setup. You can either use a convergence setup or maybe just a horizontal line to look at it. But anyway, that's, that's variable. And its position up and down the neck is also dependent on the purity setup. That'll be discussed later. The important thing you're looking for here are these neck components. This convergence cluster. Let's start with that. If you look carefully, you'll see this metal disc here on this CRT. And if you push this down, you'll see more parts of it here. Basically, you want the back of the convergence cluster to be flush with this disc that's at the back of the convergence assembly inside the CRT. So you move that up until it's right on there. Again, keeping track of this, this blue is straight up and down. The next component you have is the purity rings. Uh, this ring, these two rings, which control the uh, purity. By the way, there's two tabs here. You see these two, we pull them together like that. That nullifies the magnetic influence and by separating them increases the influence they have over the beam. So you, you can rotate the red blob by rotating them together, turn this whole assembly, that rotates it around the, the face of the CRT you move it radially within that by adjusting the strength of the magnetic field by moving these tabs apart or together. Anyway, ideally, these rings should fit over that opening that you can see right in there. You've got the... That, and that generally takes place, if everything's set up properly, is you put the convergence coil in place and then the purity ring will be very close to being right over that that slot that you're seeing there and then lastly the blue lateral this kind there's there's different kinds of blue laterals this kind is just a strap with a magnet and it goes right over the very top. If you look carefully in the CRT, let's look at it from this position right here. You'll see this assembly inside the CRT. That's where you want this magnet to be directly over that assembly. Put it right over there like that. That's your starting point. And that's basically it. So if you look closely, you can just see that metal disc is at the back edge of the convergence coil. This metal, these metal rings are right over the opening that's between these two guns. It's kind of hard to see, I'm trying to focus on that opening. Right there, that opening, back off now you can see what I'm looking at. And then the, the lateral, the blue lateral sits over this landing right here that's on the top of every CRT. Now, the little bit of a special note, some convergence magnets, the kind that have a, a screw, let me see if I can find one handy here, I'm gonna move over here so you can see. This style, 
with that kind of adjustment that you rotate, it's a little bit different. On that style, now I'll come back to this, it actually lo rotates up something like this. So it's actually offset from the top. And what they're looking for there is that this end of the assembly, I'm touching right here, this end sits over that same landing and the adjustment is off offset at about, eh, about two o'clock if you're looking at the CRT straight on. But since this is the magnet style, it fits right directly over the top, just like that. So in this case, you've got the top, I'm looking at the top of the CRT, top, convergence, or uh, purity, convergence coil, and of course the yoke, which you move up and down to set the purity up. And that's it. The first thing we need to do is degauss the CRT since this does not have automatic degaussing. And this is just a degaussing coil out of a junk TV. It doesn't have to be anything special. And a variac. What we want to do is just take this here and just bring this up a little bit and then move this around. And then the most important part of this is to reduce the voltage slowly. And then kind of move this away slowly. So what we're going to be working with here is the yoke the uh, purity magnets, uh, the blue lateral magnet, and the three static convergence magnets, which these move in and out. They have a magnet on the tip of them there. So let me put a mark. First thing I'm going to do is I'm going to pull the yoke back as far as it'll go. And now what I need to do is move these two magnets to try and bring the red blob into the middle or as close to the middle of the CRT as I can. Okay, now we push the yoke forward until we get a full red screen. That's too far forward. You can see when I push it forward, you get the blue on the edges. Bring it back a little bit. Okay. So these are our screen controls here. I'm going to bring the red all the way down, bring the green up, bring the blue down. So that shows a solid green, which this gun is a little weaker on the CRT, and a solid blue. Now the next step is to turn our generator on. select the grid pattern. What I'm going to do, let me see, I'm going to try and adjust it for the best. There's green, there's red, there's blue, I'm going to 
try and adjust these all equally. Now these two, these two here move the, the blue and green lines at this, this one moves it, or this, I'm sorry, this moves the red and green this way, like a Y. And this moves the blue up and down, and this moves the blue side to side. So you have complete control over the blue. So ideally, the first thing you want to do is just completely turn blue off. This is your blue screen. And get the red and green lined up, because the red and green are going to move at a Y pattern, and then you can put the blue wherever you want. And we're going for the middle. fairly close. It's kind of hard with this because the CRT is so weak. Now we'll bring the blue up. And this, this rotating this right here should move the blue side to side as you can see it does there. And then this should move the blue up and down. Now the, the trick is just to kind of go around and around and around a few more times until you get it. And also with these, if you can't get enough range out of them, what you can do is you can pull them out. So there's a magnet in the tip there. Pull it out and turn it over half a turn, and it will give you uh, more range.
now you can see the center part right here is pretty good. That's all you're going for with the static convergence. The dynamic, which is this over here, fine tunes around the edges, but I'm not going to do that in this video. So now um, we'll turn the generator off and we'll check our basic red purity again. And it still looks fairly good. It still looks... It still looks fairly good. You could go over it again and uh, do a touch up, but I think it's pretty much unnecessary. perfect. Now this being an, a non-automatic degaussing set, every time you move it in the room you have to degauss it again because it'll screw it up. So that's a basic uh, rough basic convergence and purity setup after like a CRT change.